I received five full scholarships to study abroad in Europe, in Australia and in the United Kingdom. Anyway, it allows you to pay for your education less or do not pay at all, which is really good. Local employers would prefer people with the knowledge of local language. So it means you will not have to pay huge amounts of money for your education there. I advise everyone to find possibilities to study abroad for at least some time. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a channel about studying abroad, getting scholarships and building a successful career. Today we're going to talk about the ways how to study abroad for free and to become an international student. Yes, it means without paying huge tuition fees. And yes, it is real. So if you want to study abroad on a budget, keep watching this video. And there are several ways to do it. The first way, and actually the way that I used, is to get a scholarship. I received five full scholarships to study abroad in Europe, in Australia and in the United Kingdom. I was awarded a Chimney Scholarship, which is the most prestigious scholarship scheme for international students to study in the UK at the master's levels. It covers all the tuition fees and all the expenses that you can have. It allowed me to become a student of King's College London to study intellectual property law. Not only did I receive the Chimney Scholarship, I was also awarded a scholarship from King's itself Yan Tion Lay Scholarship. Initially, it was meant to be for Malaysian students only, but if there are no such candidates, it can go to any student from all over the world. So I was lucky to receive it, but I chose Chimney Scholarship as it was more prestigious and also as it gives an access to a network of leaders, which is really, really important when you study abroad. Wow. What kind of scholarships can you get? There are several types. Full and partial. Full scholarships cover all tuition fees and the living expenses, and they are also called grants. Normally, grants are given to the students to conduct research or to solve some profound problems in the society through education. So it means that good grades are not enough. Concrete, socially responsible career goal is as important. And when you ask me where to find these scholarships, there are also several ways. First of all, you need to know that these scholarships are given by governments, by funds and by the universities. So you need to explore the websites of the universities and the ones of the governments, especially for international students, so this kind of department on the website of any government that you can find information for international students. For instance, I applied for 12 scholarships and 10 programs. Wow! and I spent lots of time searching for them. So now I can say that there are many of them, but you just need to remember that there are some scholarships that are meant to be for a particular group of people or say nationality. So it means that you need to check if you are eligible and if yes, then you can apply. Also, it's really important then if you can find this kind of limited scholarship for a particular group of people, then competition will be not that high and probably you'll be lucky to receive it. So there are more chances. But anyway, you can apply both for this kind of specific scholarships and also for the scholarships that are from universities for every student who wants to apply to them. So basically there are several types of scholarships, you can find them anywhere and they can be also be full or partial. Anyway, it allows you to pay for your education less or do not pay at all, which is really good and this way actually helped me to study in London, otherwise I wouldn't be able to afford it at least in the next five years. So universities that you want to study that also provide this kind of scholarships. They can also be really full, like grants, and you just need to search for the websites to find them. Look at the website of Stanford, for example, you will find lots of them. So it's really possible to find this kind of financing. And here you can see the governmental scholarships that actually are the most prestigious in the world. So I really recommend you to apply if you are eligible. It's Chimney, the Art Scholarship, Wisby Scholarship, and some other scholarships as well. So guys, if you want me to make a separate video on how to get a scholarship, what are the requirements? What do you need to do? Just write in the comments. To sum up, the first way to study abroad for free is to get a scholarship either from the government or from the university or another fund that can provide you some financing for your studies. And the second way to study abroad for free is to go for studies in the country's free tuition. This means that these countries don't have any tuition for their education, both for their own students like citizens and for international 
international students. Among them are Germany, Norway, Austria, also Czech Republic, Poland and some others. So it means you will not have to pay huge amounts of money for your education there. For instance, in Germany you need to have a secure bank account before your studies. It means that you will not be able to take more money from this account than the sum which is allowed. So normally it's around 800 euros, 900 euros. Also you will need to pay around 600 euros per semester, which is kind of semester fee, but basically it's used to cover your expenses for the books, for your transportation costs, so it's not that bad, so you don't need just to pay to the university and it's more reasonable. Also you need to remember that in some countries education is free only when you study in the national language. For example, in Czech Republic you can study for free, but you need to know the Czech language, so it means that it's not possible to study there in English. In some countries like Germany, Austria, Norway, Finland, you can still study in English, but there are no so many programs that you can choose in English and I would really recommend you to choose these countries and learn the languages that are in these countries so it would be easier for you also to communicate there and to adapt there and also to find the programs that you will really like because the choice going to be much much wider and it's really really important I think you know also you need to consider your living expenses in these countries for example if you're coming from the country where the prices for products for rent and everything low then you shall be prepared as well to pay this when you study in these countries like Germany or Austria and especially in Scandinavian countries like Norway or Finland because their education is free but you need to pay for your living expenses and it could be quite high because living costs there are really huge and if you consider go and find a job there it's also an option but local employers would prefer people with the knowledge of local language of course it's kind of hard to find a job there only with English so I would recommend you to choose a country one from the list and start learning the language of this country even if you're going to study in English this will help you to adapt yourself in this country faster and also to have wider choice of programs you want to study it's really crucial if you do this in advance the third way to study abroad is to participate in exchange program in many universities in your country there are partner universities programs that means that you can go and study for free in another university in different country which is a partner to the universities that you are studying at right now so in my case I came that way to Poland and studied there for one year actually it was really incredible experience and I recommend everyone spending at least some time studying abroad during the exchange program it's really worth it so if you can do that during your studies right now do this and also it's really important to know that sometimes it's not so openly published somewhere and you need to go to international department of the university and ask them if they do have this kind of partner agreements normally they do sometimes it's even possible to receive a scholarship like Erasmus plus scholarship to study abroad for one semester or more but you need to remember that you will have to compete with your classmates in order to get it unfortunately in my case when I studied in Poland I didn't have scholarship but I just wanted it so badly to go to study abroad for at least some time so I decided to go without scholarship so I worked online I worked as a freelancer to have some extra money and also Poland wasn't that expensive in comparison to Belarus so it was really possible for me to live there without any difficulties and I think you also can consider similar countries that are similar to yours in terms of income in terms of prices and all these kind of things so as I said it was an incredible experience and I advise everyone to find possibilities to study abroad for at least some time and number four your option to study abroad for free is free mover program you know it is obvious to almost everyone well, it's really funny, but yes, it is. This program is normally allowed in some universities in Europe, and it means that you can go and study there for one semester or sometimes even two without paying tuition fees or paying just a little bit, but you are normally not eligible to receive a scholarship. It means that you don't need to have any partner agreements between your university or another university. You just need to be a student. Probably you can ask for some kind of educational leave at your own 
Maryland University and then go to study abroad during this free mover program. Actually, this program is good because it allows you to study at any university that does have it. But the problem is that all the exams and also all the credits that you probably gonna receive there will not be admitted at your own university because there is no partner agreement. But if you really want to try it and if you don't have any other options, it's still a good way to study abroad for free or at least for really small amount of money. I will leave all the links to any of the opportunities that I already mentioned here today in the description of this video so just check it out so guys as you see there are so many possibilities to study abroad for free you just need to pick one and go and do it and i'm so grateful to myself that one day i have decided to try it and i came to london to study there and it was totally free so i was paid to study at one of the top universities and i really believe that everyone that you can do this as well so you just need to grab yourself and start doing it so guys if you need anything if you need any advice and you have some questions just write in the comments and i will make new videos let me know if you need to have more information from me about scholarships about preparation of the papers to apply to them i will make new videos on this channel and do not forget to subscribe to it because i'm gonna post much more videos about education abroad building successful career and getting scholarships i hope you enjoy this video and have a nice day bye bye Thank you.